Hey guys, MockRazers here, and today I'm going to be turning this Lenovo laptop into a desktop right there. So, let's check the battery status before I do anything. And over there, see if I can get it on camera. Well, I guess not, but it said 17%. So, anyways, first, I want to connect the power supply, which is down here in my really messy studio. <clears throat> okay, so the computer shouldn't die on me now. And now, what we do, what we'll need to do next is, anyways, first, for this to be a complete desktop, you'll need a mouse of any kind. It can be wired, wireless, USB, or Bluetooth, but I have this old Bluetooth mouse. I did a review on it, and I got this keyboard here. It's just a standard Acer keyboard. It's a wired one. I got it for one dollar at a thrift store. And next, you'll also need the monitor right there. I got it for three dollars at that same thrift store. So now, what we'll need to do is plug in the keyboard into the proper USB port. It then get the mouse connected, so I turned it on. Should go any minute. So let's go down here. It says HP Bluetooth Mouse Z5000, which is what this is. And now it's trying to pair up. This will be a minute. <laughs> Okay, so this is taking a minute. Let's try removing it. Sorry about the technical difficulties at the moment. I'll get back to you guys when the mouse is paired up. Okay, so the mouse is now connected as it says right there. And now let's let's get the display hooked up. So first you need to plug in the monitor. And I am going to do that now as it is not plugged in. into the handy dandy power strip that I got. Now we need to pair up the, we need to, we need to like get connected now. Anyways, the monitor does use a VGA cable, but I got an adapter so it would hook up into the HDMI put input. Okay, so it's now plugged in, and now, for the moment of truth, let's turn on the monitor. 
and voila, there you go. So now that you're on the monitor, in order for you to actually use it with the laptop closed, just close the laptop. It will go into sleep and how you fix this is by waiting a few seconds and then pressing the space bar. So it just took a minute and now let me put in my login. There we go. So we are now logged into here and let's pull up uh, something on Microsoft Edge. So let's just put in Mac Racers and now it's going to go search for it. Oh, that's right. I'm not connected yet. I'll be right back and I'll go turn on my Wi-Fi. Okay, so I turned on the Wi-Fi and now let's see if it's going to connect. Let's connect it to the Wi-Fi. Look, there it goes. Now let's press, oh, never mind. I was gonna press F5, but it's already loading. Never mind the background noise. I sometimes need to load it a couple times. Okay. So, when I go down here, I find my videos. So, yeah. And now, even though this is optional, you can connect any necessary accessories that you want to connect. Like, let's say, for instance, a fan, and now, just for a little decoration, I'm going to put the dog right here. He looks happy up there. And if I had it, I would also put a webcam up there. That's, that's actually a recommendation of mine. For you people out there because you won't be able to access the camera so I have this little fan here I'm going to go plug it in and turn it on so it's blowing some cool air so this is like a little workstation that I just made and also this is how to turn your laptop into a desktop it will work on nearly any laptop Mac PC or Chromebook even so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah peace out oh yeah and just a reminder if your computer has limited storage I recommend upgrading it via an SD card or USB stick. So here I have like an eight. I have an eight gig SD card. Yeah. Peace out, guys.